Buckner has found Waldo. And it's so interesting, too, because to watch leadership, to watch, to find out what leadership really means in a non-conventional sense. I mean, this is this is true leadership at its finest. Right. And we're seeing people shine. We're seeing leaders step up. And we're not talking just about CEOs and presidents of company. We're seeing leadership at every single level of an organization. And so many amazing people are stepping up and shining uh, and innovation as well. What are some things that you're observing as far as, as amazing innovation? I mean, I've seen Dyson. I mean, to give an example, Dyson literally in 10 days went from plans, open source plans to production to shipping in 10 days. What are you seeing out there? I mean, you the ventilators, I mean, yes. Uh, yeah, the ventilators. I mean, it's, you know, look, it's one thing to think about. So again, I have my 90, did I, maybe I didn't tell you this. I have my 92 year old dad yeah. and my 92 year old grandmother on a Zoom call. I think we broke the record in age, co collective age. The combined age, yeah, total I combined think, age. I think we beat that, uh, at least per, per, per capita, right? Uh, so. But, you know, we were talking, what, what was World War II like? Nothing like this. Because, go ahead. No, no, I'm smiling because I want to continue this. So keep going, well, man. No, nothing <laughs> like this because it didn't come so sudden. Like, this happened, like, overnight. Think about GM. The reality is they had to literally stop the plants and pivot their business. Estee Lauder, you know, uh, um, these guys, uh, uh, Gallo Wines. I mean, like, it is crazy what these guys have been able to do. It shows you human perseverance is just so strong. And that's what makes me so optimistic and excited about what's going to happen post this. But the thing that we have to keep in mind and we have to be prepared as a society to focus on is our small business. And so at the end of the day, what we don't realize is they are the largest part of the economy. They are the heart blood of our economy. They are what keeps our kids safe on their streets. The people who open up stores on Main Street, they are the reason why we have better schools because they allow for higher taxes. They allow for better, safer neighborhoods. <sighs> and they are the largest employer on planet Earth and in the U.S. And what's going to happen is, is that we have to remember that in order for the engine of economy to run, we have to be willing to go out and invest in those small businesses and go back to at in those small businesses. And if we don't, that's what's really going to hurt the economy.